Sorry about that. Look at this guy. I was debating which was more likely that someone borrowed my equipment and cleaned it or that the tracks learned to clean themselves. And we're gonna dig one of them with the backhoe, dig the other one with the tree puller, see which one does a better job. I've got a pretty strong feeling which one it'll be. Something about this looks like it's not gonna work. Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and if you saw my video from a couple days ago, I'm volunteering my time and equipment a little bit to help work on building a disc golf course out in the woods. So today we're gonna use the grapple and the backhoe on the tractor, and we've also got the skid loader and a tree puller here, and see if we can smooth out some pathways, dig out stumps, whatever needs done. Should be a good time. Try to start the day by doing a little bit of maintenance so it doesn't pile up on me. Right now, skid loader is a little bit low on hydraulic fluid. We're going to fill that up and then clean the tracks out. I left the machine here for the last day and a half, and they've been digging out all these stumps with the tree puller and made a lot of progress since I was last here. But now we have the tree puller and we have the backhoe and we have a lot more stumps. And I'm wondering which of those two tools is more effective for small to medium stumps. So I think we might do a little comparison on that. Right now, I got my tool from One-Eyed Customs. One of two things has happened, either the guy I left the skid loader with cleaned my tracks or they've developed a self-cleaning feature just over time. I don't know which is more likely. We got to get to the bottom of this. There's a lot less dirt on here than I left. All right, I'm needing answers, so I'm coming to you. It, uh... You cleaned my tracks, or did they develop a self-cleaning feature? I cleaned them. Sorry about that. Look at this guy. What we're going to start with while we're over in this area, he's got a few more stumps. He's going to be pulling stumps with the tree puller. Then they've got brush piles all over the place. I'm going to use the grapple on the tractor and start dragging these uh, brush piles out of the way. <laughs>
So we got two little trees to take down here. You know, they're tiny up here, but if you go down to the base, that's gonna be an eight inch diameter. And you never can tell. We might be able to just walk, drive up and push it over with the tree puller. But I think we're gonna cut them off like waist height so we still got something to wiggle. And we're gonna dig one of them with the backhoe, dig the other one with the tree puller, see which one does a better job. I've got a pretty strong feeling which one it'll be. And uh, I'm just gonna tell you ahead of time, don't beat me up about the chaps, I forgot to bring them. So I'm gonna have my friend Rex here run my tractor. Now you've owned a bigger Kubota, right? That was a 28 horse. Yeah, so bigger machine, smaller horsepower like we see a lot. And it was an economy tractor. I think this is gonna feel a lot different. The pedal's definitely different. So I'm gonna try to get his opinion on it. And you get something out on the tip of those fingers, feels like you don't have enough clamping power. He wasn't able to get that all the way in there the way he was doing it because he couldn't snap that little fork that was sticking out. Feel like the grapple claw should have snapped that. I think it's a combination of two things. I think this grapple needs a little bit bigger cylinder on it, but also I think that the diverter and the splitter on my setup reduces my flow. But you should still get pressure even with reduced flow. But I feel like I don't get full clamping pressure. As soon as I hit the roots, it just stopped. Yeah, you have to like claw at them. And I've taken out giant stumps with this and it takes like 
eight hours and I've got a hole like 12 foot, you know, Ooh. diameter. It is no small thing to dig one out with these. That's why I said you can get a little bit more power if you throttle up, but yeah, I'm already jerky with it anyway. It's all over the place. What do you think? Should we just use the tree collar? I think so. Oh. That or you need to run it. Told you I knew what was going to happen. That tree puller just has so much more power. We were making a trench. Yeah, this would be great, but not for breaking tree roots. I basically pushed on that just to verify that this thing isn't just flopping around in there. It's really tree pullers just stout. We'll see. I've been asked multiple times to do a comparison between a tractor and a skid loader for people who are thinking about buying one or the other. It doesn't make any sense for me because that machine's 75 horsepower and $75,000. This one's 38 horsepower and $30,000. <clears> so if I get my hands on a big tractor, we'll compare them. So what does a lifetime Kubota guy say to five minutes on the 2038 John Deere? Well, Brock, I'll tell you what, it's a nice tractor. It does good work, but it ain't a Kubota. Yeah. We can all be grateful for that. He's over there playing skid steer games. Meanwhile, I found the brush pile honey hole. They're everywhere out here. Got one there, got some big logs over here. All this stuff. Woo, doggy.
Something about this looks like it's not gonna work. The lighting isn't showing it very well, but the two little trees on each side of the tractor form an archway. Looks like the tractor is about to preside over a ceremony or something. And I was digging the pad over here the other day with the skid loader. They didn't want these two trees disturbed. They wanted to leave that arch there and you're gonna step through it to throw the disc. But the pad needs to come back this way a couple more feet. So I'm gonna use the reach of the backhoe to try to finish this out. I don't think Kubota can make it happen. Get a little more thumb in the thumb here. While I've been rounding up brush with the tractor, he's been pulling these little trees with the skid loader. I feel like, I mean, we've really only worked half a day because of the time it takes to get out here. 
But I feel like we've accomplished a lot. Removed a lot of brush, a lot of stumps, fixed up a lot of trails. And I think the next time we're out here, we're going to have some more help. And hopefully soon we'll be spreading spreading dirt on all these trails and mulch over the top of that and get this thing into a nice wreck area for people. But that's going to wrap up this video. I appreciate you taking time to watch. Put links on the screen to more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.